Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to find cables of electric bike or scooter controller that doesn't have label on cables. So we will try to find the most useful and important cables for our electric vehicle. The first thing we notice that at a controller is that except factory labels on the cables, they also have character codes for each cable on the circuit board. The first thing we are trying to find on a circuit is the main ground bar pins. As usual this point has most black wires connected between them. Colored cables which are again, ground wires. Usually is for cruise control EBS brake and learning mode. TH 4.3 volts label is throttle. So if we measure this pin with ground we must have 4.3 volts on voltmeter. Next pins is ZH 4.3 volts output for hall sensors power. HW HV HU is hall sensor feedback from hub motor. BH and BL is high brake and low brake pins. High and low is three speed pins and microcontroller programming pins. VCC is ignition, it is usually red wire, and is used to activate the controller. EBS is electronic brake activator. To activate electronic brakes this wire must be connected to ground. So, let's release all the controller cables, to see what functions each cable makes. The first sure cables are always red and black, which are battery power cables, and they are always the thickest from other wires. Next thick cables is for DC three-phase hub motor, which are also thick and always their colors are green, blue and yellow. The next cables are hall sensor wires, which is similar to the previous ones. The difference is that they are much thinner. These cables are blue, green and yellow, which are feedback sensor output from hub motor, plus red and black wires which is powering feedback sensors with 5 volts. The brown wire with code B, L, is low brake wire, so, to activate low brake function, the wire must be connect to the ground. Yellow wire is high brake function. To activate this high level brake, wire must be connected to positive power battery cable. Now let's take a live demonstration of some functions that the controller makes.
to avoid the risk of a circuit damage if we make a mistake on the board wiring. Try to connect one regulated power supply and regulate it on low amps from 0.5 amps to 1 amps. Before starting to connect the throttle on circuit, it is very important to check it first. You will need one black ground cable and one red which must be 5 volts. Connect the multimeter black terminal to the black cables and the red terminal to the green cable, which is signal of throttle. After that twist the handle. At the output you will have a signal from 0 to 5 volts, which you will see on the multimeter. With this procedure you know that the throttle is working, good. If you don't have any labels or don't see the controller circuit, a very easy way to find the cables is to look which of the all signal cables tend to between 4 to 5 volts with red wire. This blue cable is the EBS. To be activated, it must be connected to the other blue cable which is its pair of ground. Now is activated. 